Hello and welcome to a Tuesday Business News Report. It's now time to bring a feature on the show today. It's four days to Christmas and we're looking at a travel pattern, both via air and also by road. Now, Nigerians travelling by road have to pay much more. And also those travelling by air this year tide are also in for one of the most expensive pricing regimes in local air transport fares, but without correspondent value for money or customer satisfaction. While airfares offered by local operators have twice doubled and cost an average of about 100,000 naira for less than an hour flight, the number of flight delays has also hit a frustrating threshold. Now, some analysts have raised concerns around the role of the Consumer Protection Department of the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority and the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, two agencies mandated to enforce the rights of customers and consumers and also met sanctions to uh, meet sanctions to the airlines for deterrence. Now, the apex regulator, NCC, NCAA, over the weekend warned pilots and the crew to be wary of poor visibility and exercise maximum restraint in accordance with safety rules. Well, a survey of current airfares showed a slight varying price range across airlines and on routes. On average, economy class one-way tickets and all routes subject to seat availability. That was earlier sold for about 33,000 naira, where on the airline's platform quoted between 42,000 and 118,500 naira as of the start of this week. Well, joining me now live in our Lagos studio to discuss the current air travel pattern and also the cost of tickets as travellers rush back home and to their travel destinations for the Christmas holiday, I have Chukwereka Achim, the Chief Operating Officer, Jet Support Services. Good to have you on the breakfast show this morning and uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas in advance. It's just four days to go. Nigerians really have to pay much more for their travel this time around. We look at the major carrier airpiece, for example, this is Colin de Schott and others also falling. You see full economy ranging, which is about 54,000. Nara just last week, now about 81,000 to almost 100,000. Other airlines also pricing theirs at about 74, 78,000. Nara. Let's discuss this trend and what is really playing the fundamental role here in terms of the usual yieldtide demand, mm -hmm. supply, and then the cost tendencies. Well, I mean, first of all, David, there is the, I mean, macroeconomic factors, which we, we all know that uh, a huge component of an airline's cost mm. is um, dollarized, more or less. And, um, of course, with the slide in exchange rates between the Naira and the U.S. dollar, you, of course, would expect to see an uptick in, um, you know, the prices spectrum. However, I mean, beside that, you also have issues around... The triangle of demand being between Lagos, Abuja, and Potako. Mm. Traditionally, these, 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 are, these the are the main economic hubs yes. of Nigeria. So, seasonally, you've seen that travelers mostly migrate from these hubs to, you could call it rural. So, you see a migration from the urban to the rural during, I mean, the Christmas holidays. Mm. People are mm. going home for Xmas to see their, their families and loved ones. And what you, what you will see is that... Um, a lot of travelers are moving from these hubs to the rural areas mm. and the demand spectrum from the rural areas back into the hubs are you know quite low so traditionally um, these airplanes for example going from Lagos to Enugu mm. would, would fly back at uh, almost uh, empty. empty so the airlines have to find a way of you know balancing that that that, that cost mm. and uh, that's what you see in um, the increased prices on the routes most especially out of these these economic hubs mm. And now, with insecurity and kidnapping mm -hmm. and the likes, many Nigerians going to, say, for example, the southeastern part of the country mm -hmm. or the FCT, who ordinarily would have gone by road transport, mm -hmm. now are much more prepared to travel by air, mm -hmm. even if it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at flights from the 19th of this month upwards up until now, mm -hmm. they are fully booked. Mm -hmm. It's quite expensive at this point in time, but yet fully booked. So, except airlines create more flights, we'll continue to see mm -hmm. more scarcity. Now, in terms of dealing with scarcity, communication of the airfares, and also in the area of uh, delays. Now, what mm -hmm. sort of communication do you also expect from the airlines? Because that also remains critical to mm -hmm. the customer experience at this mm -hmm. point in time. We've had a whole lot of lamentations, mm -hmm. and all of these could have been eased out with a communication mm -hmm. directly sent mm -hmm. to the customer. Yes, I do agree with you. Customer service has, you know, 
traditionally not being the strongest point of Nigerian mm. Airlines, we've not been able to manage, you know, um, the relationship between the customers and the airlines. Um, well, I, I think uh, the Civil Aviation Authority has to come in here, um, especially the Consumer Protection Unit of the Civil Aviation mm. Authority. They have to be able to more or less um, ensure that these customers, ticket paying customers more or less, are, are protected. Mm. Customers know their rights. Unfortunately, Nigerians seem to be, you know, quite a vast regarding their laws outside Nigeria mm. than within Nigeria. Mm. I mean, you see international Nigerian passengers being, you know, more or less um, championing their laws or more, uh, their, their, their rights. But when it's, when it's down here in Nigeria, there's almost nobody to talk to. Mm. So um, that has been an issue, more or less. Um, mm. And I do believe that um, the Civil Aviation Authority will take specific notice to this period of high travel demand. You mm. know. And then we're also seeing the Matan season here. Mm. And up north, it's also quite intense as well. Mm -hmm. We've had communication from the NTA to airlines and pilots to make sure that mm -hmm. maximum safety measures are mm -hmm. taken. You were to pilots, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, without even the NCA saying, I mean, these mm. these 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 are already uh, regulations enshrined in 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 operating procedures of of all the airlines licensed to fly. The Hamatan season is is, is is not strange to us. Mm. It's um, we do have that institutional memory, and um, we've also seen from the part of the government, you know, invest increased investments in navigational equipments to enable airlines, you know, take advantage of of this period of high mm. high 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 demand. So um, yes, safety is the watchword. Um, I believe do believe that um, all airlines operating today in Nigeria would more mm. or less stick to to all the regulatory required minimums going mm. into any of these airports. And also, one of the realities we have to look at is the fact that the local mm. aviation space has also grown marginally, irrespective mm -hmm. of the COVID-19 now. Mm -hmm. We've seen increase in domestic travel, irrespective of what's happening globally. Mm -hmm. And then we've had about two new entrants in terms yeah. of airlines, bringing the toll of scheduled carriers to about mm -hmm. 11. But the expectation is that when we have increased fleet capacity and wider risk coverage, then this should possibly lower rates of airfares but we're not necessarily having that coming to bear do you think we'll get to a point in time where transport within the yuletide would somewhat still maintain the regular ticket price or would just have to deal with this regular upsurge well i i, I believe on this show we've talked severally about how the rebound in aviation was already here locally mm. you know even when the inter on the international scene you know there, there was a lot of um you know, it was it was difficult to see growth, but Nigeria had had always you know rebounded from mm -hmm. that 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 COVID nineteen, um, you know. Uh, but the the thing is, David, like I said, if you look at the triangle of demand between Lagos, Abuja, and Portacot, seasonally, you have people emigrating mm -hmm. from these 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 areas to you know rural areas, mm -hmm. if I could put in quotes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, flying these airplanes back empty. The, the, the seats have to, to pay. pay. Someone has to pay. <laughs> so it's mm. going to be really tough, you know, to see that coming mm. in the future where, you know, I mean, and this is also a season where the airlines feel they should more or less, you know, recoup, you know, a lot of the costs that they had incurred throughout the year. And dealing with the volume of passengers going mm. through the airport and also aircraft going on board as well, mm -hmm. let's also look at the uh, COVID-19 safety protocol mm -hmm. coming to bear as well. Mm -hmm. We cannot afford to leave any uh, stone and turned mm -hmm. in terms of our uh, safety protocol, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I dare say that. Um, I mean, at the airports, it's or I mean, the the the, the travel. The, the travel checklist is what makes aviation one of the best ways to yeah, move. I agree. The the travel chain. I mean, the air travel chain. I would say is one of the safest in terms of uh, COVID nineteen prevention mm. protocols. You know. Mm. From the, you can't even get into an airport now without a mask. Mm. You can't even check in without sanitizing your hands. You can't board an airplane without a mask. You can't sit on an airplane without sanitizing your hands. Mm. So I, I would say in terms of enforcement, the aviation, I mean, has one of the highest levels of, of, of the COVID-19 prevention protocols of enforcement, mm. you know, compared to other forms of, of transportation. Mm. So those safeguards are in place. Um, I've not seen them being broken. Mm. And I, I, I dare say that um, our compliance at aviation is still almost even not at 100%, David. And then it's also <laughs> relatively okay to say that we've not necessarily seen Omicron also mm -hmm. deal us a very big blow mm -hmm. here in the local space. 
face and we mm -hmm. continue to keep our fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. But what's also your word to the average traveler as well? Because in between transits, we still have people not necessarily complying with all of these full mm -hmm. safety measures. So irrespective of moving from point A to point B, having a nurse mask and flight, you could still expose yourself. Mm -hmm. You were to air travelers the spirit. Well, I mean, um, the virus is still here. The, <coughs> the virus is, um, is, is quite, uh, it's still keep, keeping up a fight. So mm. I would say don't let your guards down. Um, follow uh, more or less all of the um, regulatory requirements. Keep your mask on, sanitize your hands, wash your hands, and you know, just keep an eye out for the next person, more or less. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas, And we David. hope to have a wonderful celebration. Same here. Keeping safe. Thank you very much, David.